Hi everyone, Sat here, helping you go from daydreaming about development to being an actual developer. So thanks for all the likes and comments, I really appreciate those. Especially thanks to Benny who bought me a coffee. Um, so this video is actually going to be dedicated to you. Uh, and here in this video we're going to be showing you the solution to the last um, problem that I, we had with a cat where it was constantly walking towards you even when it was basically impossible for it to reach you because you were too high up and we don't want that we want it to stop at a, the correct distance um, so kind of away from your feet um, and we don't want it to keep on playing the walking animation unnecessarily so that's what we're going to fix now so let's jump on and do that uh, and let's see how we get along so if we go to our prefabs and we select our cartoon cat We've got that script, the follow game object script. And at the moment, it's looking for the game object that, that's tagged as the player, which makes sense since it's the camera. So if we open that up, um, we've got it here. It is checking to see what the distance is. Um, and if it's far away from the distance using the stopping distance, then it will move towards it. Um, and it's obviously moving the object to follow and the object to follow has that tag. Now what we really wanna do actually is we don't want it to actually follow the camera. Um, we want it to follow the, um, well we want it to follow the point beneath the camera that it can actually reach because it can never, it can never reach the camera, and um, we've seen that when I lift the camera up, it can't it can't move verti vertically. So that's not actually helping at all. Right? We need it. We need to create a new object, and that new object needs to be um, what it's moving towards. So let's just take this um, and show you what I mean. Right? If I go to our prefabs and I take our cartoon cat because this is the cat that's supposed to be moving towards our camera. So it moves towards the camera, which is fine. Um, if I just select AR core devices, first person camera, which has the player tag, and I move it up, it keeps trying to move towards it, and then it gets here, and it's basically never gonna go up. But what we want it to do is really stop here regardless of the height of the of the camera itself right so we need that position at all times so we need the the the, the same y um, position regardless of the height so to do that we just need to create a the object to follow although it is the the camera the transform position of object to follow needs to be reset zero so let's just search here for object to follow um, and have a look here so we can see that it checks the distance here and if the distance is more than you know what it needs to be the stopping distance then then we create a temporary variable a vector um, and then we move towards that transform. Um, but what we actually need to do is we need to create this beforehand, right? So actually, we don't want to. I'm going to move that there, right? And what I'm going to do is I'm going to set this to be. Um, change this vector so vector temp dot position dot y is actually going to be equal to the cat's y position right so I'm going to do that way because that, that way we won't try and go you know too high or anything so let's do game object or actually just transform because that's the transform of the cat dot y, dot position dot y now what that should do is take the transform of the of the cat and start following that instead. And then what we need to do is remove 
swap out the object we don't actually want um, we don't want it to now look for the cat position we want it to look for this temporary position which is the, the which actually is the object to follow but the object to follow set at the same height as the cat same white position which we do here so again we want that to happen we want that to be set um, well the look at position um, that can still be the camera because it's still we still want it to look at the camera um, so that isn't too bad actually so what we can do is let's let's test that out and let's see if that makes a difference before we go any further and um, we can actually still do that technically inside of the editor which is quite helpful so it should move towards the camera as we expect it to but when I move the camera up all right there you go it should still the, it shouldn't have any effect which is what it seems to be doing now if I've moved the camera back there you go look that's perfect right that's exactly what we want if I move the camera this way though it still is trying to face the uh, the, uh, the camera which is what we want so I think that's a really simple fix but it works so now the cat's walking towards me and it stops when I am far away from it even if I move up now it won't actually unnecessarily move towards me which is much better now so it's keeping this kind of fixed distance which is really cool move back there it keeps on moving towards me but not too close and I can change the distance in the code but that that makes a lot more sense now and looks a lot better